Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures. Today I went to two holiday bazaars and I'll share with you what I purchased. I found this brand new wrapped box uh, for $2. English Tea Shop, it is an advent calendar. It's got 13 different flavors of tea. It says they're all organic and they sound really good. We have candy cane, which is a peppermint with orange, cinnamon, chicory, and vanilla white tea, coconut, and passion fruit, honey and melon, coconut chai, Christmas cake. Ooh, I'm so glad I grabbed this. There was also this book. It was $1 and it's an old fashioned Christmas. So I love a book like that and it's autographed. So we've got, I think it's on this page. I love finding autograph books. So it's autographed. And this would be a great present, but I think we're going to keep it. And it has this CD of Billy the Brown Brownie, Santa's Favorite Elf, a sample of an original broadcast from the old time radio program, The Billy the Brownie Show. So I thought that was really neat. And it's not opened either. So both of those could be great presents because um, this one has an expiration date of 2021. So it's current as well. But I think they're going to be for my daughter and I and our family. So I did pick up this little pine cone Santa because I really do love those. And that was $2. They had a few of these uh, advertising cards. So this was the image that I liked the most. It's a little boy and girl all dressed up with this tree behind them. And it says the Christmas party. And that one says copyright 1893. And on the back, it has, um, it's like coffee advertising. I paid $2 for that. It was $3. The Santa. <laughs> and what was neat is that it also was one of these advertising pieces. Miller's Shoe Store in Harrisburg. I just enjoyed it you know the price was a good deal and she had an ornament hanger and that's what she had it hanging from so i think that could be really neat uh, on a table or like in a corner somewhere as a decoration so i paid two dollars for this pin i love its rhinestone eye i thought that was so cute i think i have something similar but i can't resist a cute little deer like that the first part of that haul was pretty short, so I'm gonna combine and um, these items I found at the thrift store. So I picked up these napkin rings. I have had my eye on these for a year and I almost bought them once or twice and today it finally happened. <laughs> uh, it says John and Amanda, which funny enough, um, I know a couple named John and Amanda, <laughs> but uh, I never picked them up because I wanted to think of a use for them instead of just sticking them on display in my cabinet. And I think that these will be nice as the base of a bottle brush tree or even a jewelry tree. And I am highly inspired by Pamela Blanchard. She shared some jewelry trees that she made on her live sale on Saturday and they were stunning. So I would like to make some and these might become the base and they've got some nice etching on the back. I'm always on the lookout for some red books. Now this one is very small. You can see it's less than the size of my hand, but it's still the color that I like. Man Without a Country, Hail. And it is, I think the smallest one that I have. So it will be nice in a stack. Or I had mentioned, um, if you had seen my video where I was starting to pull out some Christmas decorations, I could prop this up behind a little grouping of things to hide cords for Christmas lights. I don't know if this has a date on it. I did not notice a date on that. I picked up some linens. I don't think that these were more than a dollar a piece. Um, and this one was interesting. It has the monogram of the S, but this um, added piece, and it has fleur de lis down at the bottom, so. It will be wonderful. Uh, I'm going to wash it up, and I think that that can become a um, hand towel in our upstairs bathroom. We have another one that's got the monogram of the S up there that's about the size that works well for the kids. 
So now I've got another. I know it's hard to show in that viewfinder. A little bit of vintage Christmas. This bag was $5 and in it is a little feather tree ornament, a pinkish red heart, although it's probably meant to be a strawberry or a raspberry because it does appear to maybe have a little different design at the top that might be a leaf. Um, and I love to find the little fruits and vegetables for um, the feather trees. Happy to find that. That was the only little one that I saw. And then there was this bag. Um, I don't know, but they're, they're hollow. They're not cotton, so it's like that cardboard. Probably made in Japan, maybe Germany, but probably Japan. And they look like ice cream cones. And my daughter's tree has a lot of sweet treat decorations on it. So we've got two pastel blue, two of the green, and then three of the yellow. So those were exciting. I've actually never seen something like this. And I love, I love the glittered look. So that would be a really nice addition. I haven't told her that I picked them up, so she'll be excited. She'll probably try to take this because it looks like a heart too. <laughs> um, some more linens. These, I'm gonna just assume they're like an envelope style pillowcase. Uh, they're extra, extra large <laughs> and interesting because I've never seen anything like this before either. So can I get that in the viewfinder? It's got what I would say is, a, so I would think that's maybe a C monogram. I could be wrong, I'm usually wrong on those. Really interesting flap here, the base. I got two cleared off the bed and stepped back a little bit. It is dark, so that's why I think we're having trouble focusing. So this part lifts up and it's like a big envelope. So that's why I think that you could just put your pillow down in there and close it up. And then that's nice because then your pillowcase doesn't fall off. But you could also store stuff in something like this. So I thought that would be very nice. Little markings there. So they're stiff. They've definitely been starched. I read that you shouldn't starch stuff if you're not going to use it regularly because starch attracts bugs because they want to eat it. I found this perfume bottle and it's a Scaparelli. It has these glass flowers that most have uh, been broken, but it's still colorful and fun. And I already had this one. This was the first one. So I don't know if they all came with the flowers because you can see that it's got that cord wrapped around it like a lot of perfume bottles have. And this one is missing. And then I had found this one in the box. And now I found this one with the flowers. So I love the fact that they're all like variations on the theme of this dress form. So I'm gonna get the outside of that cleaned up, but very happy to find that. Whenever I have my new treasures, I love to get them washed up and put where they belong. So I've added my third book to my stack of the red books, and I think that that fits nicely there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.